right, dinosaur. That's what I am. I'm a 58 year old motherfucking punk rocker. I'm just like your dad. Except your dad's an asshole and I'm fucking Tesco V. That's right. Yeah, I'm old and ugly. What's it to you? The brothers tell me I look like Larry Bird. The ugliest white man on the planet. And the guy in Philly said I looked like a gay Al Bundy. I can handle the Al Bundy, but where did the gay come in? Do I look gay to you, girls? Feather boa? Just because I'm hopping around like a Kansas City faggot doesn't mean I'm gay. Alright? And you know one thing that hasn't changed in the 35 years I've been doing this shit? Wait a minute, you still suck me messed up! Motherfucking rock and roll in the dictionary, and there's a picture of Adam Neal and the motherfucking hookers. That's right. Well, I don't want any of you good old boys to get the wrong idea because I brought a new side here. Man. I'm saving this for this that Dago at the Vatican. This goes out to the dumbest fucking thing on the planet organized religion. It's called Pope on the Road. Assholes like your parents. You can come to Hades and hang out where the house band is. I believe the hookers, the meat men, and anti scene. Anti scene's been around for three decades, boys and girls. Let's hear it. 
I got a bronze bust of Jeff Clayton in my front yard of Lansing. Nobody understands. But I do. Because that guy is seminal. He is the scum rock king now that Gigi's tits up. We got a treat for you in a minute if you like Gigi. One thing we have in common, us Yankees and you good old Southern people, besides worshiping Satan, and that's drugs. I want quantity, I want quality, I want availability, I want drugs! does not want to play the cowbell. And we'll call him Jefferson Davis tonight. He's got the high now. Boom. We got some G.G. Allen fans out there. I know it. <laughs> the guy's a thousand times more popular than anybody in this building tonight, and he's dead. He smelled like poop. He was covered in his own feces, wearing a jock strap. But we loved him, didn't we? Because rock and roll is about danger, and Gigi brought the danger back. He took rock and roll to the edge, and he jumped over the fucking edge. That's right. You missed out on the split seven inch, but I wrote a song about Gigi. Wherever you are down there, being Satan's manservant. So it's called Rock and Roll Enema.
You had to, everything was going great, you had to go and ruin it. What's up with that guy? He doesn't fuck men or women. I don't know what he fucks. I like the weather. Let's dedicate this next song to Morrissey, shall we? You guys want to hear some of the old shit, don't ya? Don't worry. We're gonna play the old stuff tonight. Somebody actually said, hey Tusco, is there gonna be any old stuff on the new album? This one goes out to Morrissey. Just imagine that he is Morrissey. Have me all lines like a fucking minster. Do you wanna suck me? Do you wanna fuck me? I don't wanna touch you. Stop! 
don't know what happened. That was kind of a, I ejaculated in your face. How do you feel? Is it good for you? Have a, have a load of Tesco Bees baby batter in your mug, in your grill? Can't get pregnant. Okay, we're going to talk more about Mike Chisholm in a little bit. A lot of talk in the media about bullying, you know? How did we all grow up to be the big, burly, badass, tattooed motherfuckers without a little bullying, right? There's one of my loads right there. Bingo. Ninth grade, King of Prussia, Pennsylvania. I had a girl in my English class named Anna Mae. Big, ugly girl with linebacker shoulders and an epileptic disorder. She would flop around like a macro on the hot pavement every third hour. And we would be like, get up, Anna Mae. We'll be fine. Anyway, there were two words that would light her pot of stew. And she would chase you down the hallway and beat your ass if you yelled out, Anna Moose! Crippled children suck after all. Somebody, it was a you who said Tesla, I can't believe they allow you down here in the Bible Belt. That's right. We only come down for the crystal anyway. Then. By crystal, we mean the hooker at uh, Deja Vu. Yeah, crystal, she's a nice girl. Yeah. Anyway, how many Slayer fans we got out there today? Yeah, it was a sad day when Jeff Hayden passed away. That's right. Fucked up on him, but you know what? That guy blazed the trail for all of us. When I had my kids a long time ago, the doctor was like, make sure it's quiet while they sleep. I'm like, fuck that. My kids were raised to black flag and rain in blood. And now my son is a tattooed freak just like all of you. And a music lover. It's another one off the new album, get ready. We're gonna blast a layer of your epidermis off with this one. This one's called Speed Kills, but it sure feels good!
but your dad couldn't do that. Oh, I want to talk about masturbation for a yeah. minute. How many of you guys and girls like to jack off more than have sex with your significant other? Show of hands. Okay. Teacher Tesco wants to see hands. Porn is free nowadays if you're paying for it. I'm old school, I do not jack off to the internet, that's cheating. Seriously. And they have all those pop-up girls. Oh, not that I've ever seen that. I do not allow my backup band to jack off to internet porn either. I jack off to old school magazines. Now on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I jack off to Sylvester Stallone. That's right. I can drop like three loads during Cobra alone. But on Tuesdays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and any other day, it's Seika. That's right, official porn star at the punk rocker. This is Seika Circa 86. This magazine is one solid block of dry chism. I can no longer open even the title page. So I'm content to jack off on the laminated cover. Seriously, you can t tell me, girls, you wouldn't like to to chow down, have lunch at the Y. Yeah? No? Maybe? Come on now. Girls, it's okay to play with a little man in the canoe and think about Tesco V later while your boyfriend's sleeping off his drunken stupor from the anti show. And remember, fellas, if you're having girl problems, the solution is at the end of your arm! So Mr. Lurgy of Y!
like, I'm gonna unpick something at least 72 hours. We got people from Canada here tonight. We got a guy from Germany here tonight. Yeah, that's a fan. And your and your buddy and your buddy Cleotis couldn't even get off the couch and drive five miles to the show tonight. Just cut him the fuck off. That's right. Some motherfucker flew in from Germany. We were there last year. They didn't get our sense of humor too well over there. Every city that comes in, are you fascist? No, we're not fascists, we're comedians. We played French People Suck in a town on, along the French border. And we cleared the room. Afterwards, the promoter said, that's not cool, man. They suck to all being nationalists. But hate is always cool. Anyway, where am I going with this? I'm meandering. That, uh, that right-wing media, huh? Oh, let's talk about Ed Coulter for a minute. You guys know who that is? Yeah. Pretty hot right guy. Speaking of hate, and speaking of Nazis, let's talk about Ann Coulter for a minute. We have a new song on our album. Because she has an Adam's apple. I think she's really a man. Of course, Glenn Danzig used to say that Wendy O. Williams is really a man, and I never bought it. That's what he's into, dude. That's just what old Glenn's into. Alright, we won't into. go there. Not going there. This song is called Kill Cunt Coulter! Seconds. That's punk rock, boys and girls. It's faster than me in the second. One of these days, I'm just gonna like. My heart's gonna explode and I'm gonna drop dead on stage. Something Gigi failed to do. He was gonna die on stage. Disappointing. Heroin's kind of a lame way to go. Who wants to see Tesla take the big one tonight? It'll be the greatest show you've ever seen! That would make this night memorable, wouldn't it? Clayton was like, get him out of here, I got a show to do. We got six more of them in the van, it's fine. How are your, how are your marijuana laws down here in North Carolina? I got a very legal marijuana grow going in my basement as we speak back in Michigan. That's right. I got some LA Confidential chocolate going, you ever had that? It's like smoking a Jamocha shake, boys and girls. Some tasty shit. But you know what's fucked up? And I'm gonna get serious for a middle, a nanosecond. The marijuana laws. More people are incarcerated for marijuana than violent crimes in the United States. That's fucking stupid. And for all you people that smashed your thumb at work and had to pee in a cup and lost your job, this goes out to you. Something's called piss hot for weed.
from ZZ Top, a couple royalties on that ending, you know, think? Anyway, you guys want to talk about the Beatles for a minute? Seriously. A room full of hate-loving enemy of societies, and Paul and Ringo were allowed to live. I don't get it. The math is simple. Even those of you that dropped out of third grade at Charlotte, Charlotte Elementary School, to do the math, two bullets, two beetles. Now this guy made it to the eighth grade. He knows that if he puts Paul and Ringo side by side, it's two beetles, one bullet, right? Have you tried to buy ammo lately? For God's sakes. It's all used up. You like no, you got ammo down here? Fuck, man. Michigan militias cut it all up. What, what can I say? Anyway. I want the two dead, goddammit! in the blue bottle. This is my drink of choice. 
I stick this between my legs on Saturday night, hop into my 59 Ford Galaxy and go cruise in this home. Because anybody that doesn't drink and drive is a fucking pussy. This is a gang green song called Three bands and none of them suck. Man, fucking, fucking Clayton and the boys. Every and every band member he ever had, he had an 80 foot table all the way to going outside, signing shit. God damn, it looked like Hollywood or something out there. Hollywood South. That's right. We're gonna do a couple more and then we're gonna bring out the the big cheese himself. He told me, Tesco, I'm gonna do some shit tonight. Gonna either fuck me up or kill me. So I got that to look forward to. It's gonna be a memorable night, even if. Are you guys ready for fucking ADC tonight? We gotta dedicate this one to Annie C. Fuck. You would have been good in the hair metal days, riling up the crowd like this. Yeah, except for that little thin style all the time. You know when we played? Were you guys at the TNT Fest? Yeah. All the oi boys were digging us until he walked out in the fucking cock bag. They were like, I'm not down with this, I'm leaving. What's up, can't keep your eyes off me, fellas. Sure, <laughs> Nice coin purse, the guy in the front row said. That's a good one. I wouldn't call it a banana hammock, but it looks more like a baby plantain. Fruit <laughs> by the foot, I think. Mine's very convenient. It's pretty small, you know, day to day, but then when, when pressed into action, it, it's like that, the new hose they sell on, on TV. You know what I mean? You're gonna love this hose. Yeah. It goes right back down, it's nice and compact, and then it's a, a foot long when I plunge it into my wife's anus. Speaking of anus, I caught a whiff of some guy out in the hallway. It was a little less than fresh in the rear quarter, if you know what I mean. And I am marketing the new Tesco V butt tampon. <laughs> Available in small, medium, large, and super giant fat guy models. Have you ever had a really hot day? It's hot and humid down here, where you're just greasy cheeks Calhoun. You grab a big handful of toilet paper or like a chrysanthemum and shove it up your ass. Half an hour later, you pull that thing out, it's like an angry thunderhead of feces. <laughs> And you have to take a pole off it. Ooh, that's awful. Anyway, this next song has nothing to do with butt tampons. You know, I am old. 
And the pipes aren't exactly, well, I've never been much of a fan, let's be honest. I, I built like a goddamn fucking, I got, my ass is like two frisbees on a fence post. If I would punch you, you probably would think we had got a mosquito bite or something. But anyway, I do it with my pipes. I do it with my vinyl. And I do it with my attitude. This is another new burner. It's called, I'm gonna fuck you up. for a living. Master! 